What's up, y'all? It's your girl, beautiful brown baby doll. And um, I'm just coming at you today to talk to you a little bit about my educational experiences. I've had some requests to discuss that. And um, I did want to give some people a little uh, background on my educational experience first. And this will be the first in a series. So I'll get further into my educational process as we go along. Um, let's see. Uh, I was never the best student. <laughs> I always had high potential. And I did well. And when I say best student, I say by my own standards because I'm always pretty hard on myself. But I did well, I guess, on paper. And um, I did I did well uh, as far as performance on exams and things of that sort. However, in a lot of times in my life, I feel that I did not apply myself the way that I should have. Um, so what I'll first say is I'll say to the people, my subscribers, I have some young ones. Uh, start early. While you're in high school, make sure that you're making the correct provisions to do well so that if you do seek higher education or whatever it is that you want to do, whether technological school or um, even, you know, something such as cosmetology or anything, you still want to look good in order to progress into your next stages of life. And that's very important because while we're young, we don't think about what the things that what things that we do that affect our future and we should we should begin to teach that and instill that in this younger generation because I see so many of them already falling by the wayside so make sure that that is your focus that you do want to do better and that um, you do seek to do better okay so I did all right in high school I did well actually uh, had a nice ranking um, moved on to undergrad and in undergrad I decided I wanted to go into biology um, I always tell people yeah go in with a preconceived notion of what you want to do but it is okay to be undecided for a while and take some time out and figure out what's right for you I wanted to go into biology because I was quite interested in becoming a medical doctor of some sort exactly an obstetrician gynecologist uh, what I found was I didn't really like what it was I was doing at that time and I started to explore other things. I started to explore things. Another thing is we come in with preconceived notions of what will make us successful and not what we will enjoy. And I support trying to find out how you can be uh, something that you could do for the rest of your life that will be enjoyable and also make you successful because if you enjoy it you're liable to put more work into it which will make you more successful so um, what I did was I found out you know I was pre-med and I kept my pre-med title just in case I still wanted to go into it um, but I also explored English and psychology and I found quickly that I fell in love with both of those subjects. I love to write, I love to speak, and I love to help people. So I wanted to go into an area where I could do that. Um, I did well in undergrad, and um, a lot of doors were open for me. I'm a McNair scholar, and many of you all may or may not know what McNair is, but it is an undergraduate program which allows you, it funds your graduate work, <laughs> and it also allows you to do undergraduate research in an area of interest, and also work with an advisor, much like you would in a graduate program, or in a law or med program, anything. It helps you to learn those steps to moving forward towards. And not only that, but it, play, it paid for all my applications to uh, graduate school, and it also uh, funded me where I go to school now. So that was also very important. Um, now, moving on to my grad experience as a McNair scholar um, in an undergrad. In undergrad, yes, well, let me first say, in undergrad, I took part in many opportunities. Uh, a lot of times we decide to get to undergrad and we decide to come social, become social hermits. That's not good. Um, when I got there, my first year, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go to school. I'm just going to do that. That's not, a, that's not good. You want to be as social as possible so you can network, so that you can learn new things. And because a lot of people try to think that just because you look on, good on paper, it'll get you somewhere. It's not always what you know. It's who you know. And I quickly learned that. 
Um, as an undergraduate, I did uh, pledge a sorority. I became a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, uh, the first Black Greek sorority uh, for many different reasons, which I'll talk about in a future educational series program uh, or video. Um, I also uh, became the president of the National Panhellenic Council. I was the president of Alpha Kappa Alpha for two years. Um, I also worked and collaborated with other organizations on campus. I was a McNair Scholar. I won Who's Who's on Who's Who on college campuses and universities for the 2005 and 2006 year before graduating in 2006 with my degree in pre-medicine English and psychology. Um, so you want to make sure you make the most out of those experiences. Don't think that everything is so taboo. Don't think that joining a sorority or a fraternity is taboo. Some people do, but you have to realize the reasons behind doing that. Mine were totally different from the person sitting next to me or from the other people. Some people joined just to be seen and heard. I knew it would help me and I knew it was the best thing for me. It helped me learn about working with other women. It helped me learn how to be a leader. It helped me learn how to uh, set a goal and set a standard. So keep those things in mind. And then moving on with the McNair program, which helped me do undergraduate research in the stereotypes of African American males through television programming. Um, that helped me to learn the importance of research and doing something higher than the level of undergraduate education. Um, moving on into my grad experience, I decided that I wanted to go into psychology and I decided that I wanted to be the best in psychology. Um, I did originally enter a uh, program in which provided you your master's degree along the way to either a specialist degree or to a PhD uh, or a doctorate. Um, and I was originally in the educationalist specialist track of school psychology and decided that I wanted to uh, go more into the doctoral track because I did want to have a private practice in psychology and own and operate autism clinics, which is my ultimate goal. Um, what that helped me with was programs that uh, provide a master's degree along the way, I think are very rewarding because uh, you leave the program with two degrees regardless. An educational specialist provides uh, those psychologists with a master's degree plus 30 hours. So that sets you apart from someone that just has a master's degree. And then the uh, doctoral degree gives you a more clinical practice and um, chance to learn the clinical background. And I always, people always say, well, what is school psychology? No, it's not counseling. Uh, it is a mixture of educational psychology and also that clinical psychology background. It helps you understand uh, behaviorism uh, and all those other important aspects. Uh, you learn therapy, you learn, um, you learn therapy, behavioral techniques, uh, consultation, instruction, th those different things. Um, so those were important to me to get to where I wanted to get. Uh, so what I wanted to say in ending that, because I'm going to expound more on those things, that was just an overview of my education to date, and I haven't been able to talk about everything I wanted to do, but um, this won't be the end of my education. Every day you're educating yourself. Every day you're learning something new. Every day you should take part in learning more, especially as a woman and not just a black woman. It is important that I seek the things that will help enrich my life, that will help me make a difference, that will help me do more for my community. Um, women weren't originally expected to do well in education or, or seek higher education. So I feel like I'm setting a standard and I'm creating a goal and I'm a role model for a lot of young girls. So keep that in mind when you're making your decisions. Do what's right for you. Do what's important to you. Education is key. Whether it's street knowledge or whether it's in school knowledge, book sense, make sure that you're making the best out of what you learn every day. And I'll be coming at you all with more on my educational series. Thanks.